Hey friends, I am here because I decided to do an unboxing of my new ta -da, heat press. Um, I actually, this is my actual first real heat press that I'll be owning. Um, I do have the Cricut heat press, the little nine by nine plate, and it was work, been working for me fine for years. Um, but I just invested last summer in a sublimation printer. You might could see it over there. Um, that I got from Heat Press Nation. Um, and I really love their customer service. And I've bought vinyl from them, other products, and they were great. So I was like, well, I'll look into their heat presses. And um, because when doing sublimation, I found that you really have to be precise. You can't like, like with vinyl, you can move the heat press, the little Cricut heat press and, you know, do bigger areas just by moving the smaller heat press. What I found in doing sublimation is that it'll leave lines and marks if you move the heat press because it's not all one consistent heat when you have a big image. Um, <clears throat> and I have the Sawgrass 500 um, and I really love it. And but the biggest I can do is eight and a half by 11 sheets. So I decided to go with the uh, 12 by 15 um, Craft Pro heat press. And so that's kind of why I got it. And so I decided on the 12 by 15, I think would be big enough for me with the size prints that I do. And I don't do anything huge. Um, and I also couldn't find any videos on I decided on the swing away. Um, I couldn't find any videos on the swing and swing away. So I said, well, I'll just do an unboxing. And, um, since I couldn't find anything, cause I was looking for basically the size, you know, relative for me in my room, um, the space that I have, um, I don't know if you can see right here is where I used to have my sublimation printer, um, and my little mug press that I got off Amazon, um, up here. So I was like, I have very small space left. Um, I've used up all my space with all of my craft supplies and business supplies. So um, I figured I bought this little cart. I bought it off Amazon and I like that it had the little plug in thing. Um, so I put my printer and mug press over there and I figured I put my have more room here for my press over here. Um, so that's where it's going to go. And Let's go ahead and start undoing this box. So I got the version that is um, a refurbished uh, because it was like $75 off the price. Um, and I don't do a ton of heat pressing like selling things. Um, I just practice, you know, doing my designs that I make up. Um, so, you know, I didn't need nothing industrial strength. Um, excuse my little Shizu. He likes being in the way in the picture. Um, I did read somewhere that you need to keep this box um, for, I guess, at least a year for warranty purposes. It didn't say a year, but I'm figuring that because it's even though I bought it refurbished, it still has the year warranty, which was great. And I also got free shipping, which was great because this thing is heavy. Um, I had to take my husband's dolly and move it in here from uh, the front door. Um, so yeah, that's why I wanted to do this video because I decided to go with um, the swing away for space wise because I have more space going side to side over here than I would have going up and down because I have my cabinets up here. Um, also, I did research and read that it's the um, swing aways are better than the clamshell if you plan on doing thicker um, sublimation type product. So that's what I plan on doing like tiles and wood pieces and all that kind of stuff because the flat closing down it flat evenly flat with the swing away versus the clamshell which kind of does like this has that angle you won't get that even pressure that you need for the thicker sublimation projects. So that was the reason why I went with that. So let's see, you guys, if I can get this out of here because it is heavy. I do work out and lift weights, but geez. All right. 
so pretty. I got the pink. Because my craft room is pink and green and blue. And I love the pink. It kind of sort of matches my mug press. All right, you guys. It fits. I might have to use some of my little tape dispenser. looks great so I have an outlet right up here I will plug it in back there Let's see how it looks does it look refurbished I don't know looks pretty good guys I'm not like mad at it at all ta-da See, do I have space? Let's move it. See, I have space to um, open it. The clamshell, I would never have had enough space to like open and close it. So I can swing it away. Let's see, this will work, guys. I'm excited. Can't wait to sign some projects. It's not hard to use. So I'm liking it. Do I see anything that screams refurbished? No, not really. It's a little dusty. This pad is good. So yeah, so yay guys, this is my heat press. I'm excited about it. Um, it would have never fit over there. So I made a good decision by putting it here. It's next to my sewing machine. And it's good. So bye guys, I will do a video um, with some projects. Maybe a t-shirt, maybe a bag and Maybe a piece of wood or something like that or a tile, something that's really thick. And we'll see how it goes. Bye, y'all. See you later.